Hi children, welcome back to the lesson water. So we are discussing about the lesson water, and so far we discussed how to conserve the rain water. How to conserve rain water? And here we can conserve the rain water in two processes. What are they? Number one, rooftop. Rooftop rain water conservation. Rain water harvesting. Harvesting. And where? Second one, open place. Open place rain water harvesting structure. So open place rain water harvesting structure. In previous class, we discussed about roof water. Sorry, rooftop rain water. Harvesting by constructing the percolation pit or otherwise by constructing the underground tanks, we could be able to store the water. We can use and we can improve the ground level water that we discussed in the previous class. Now in this class, we are going to know about open place rainwater harvesting structures. Open place, मतलब here in cities, in cities. The maximum open places are filled with the concrete roads, concrete roads, and as well as pavements and buildings. Very less open land will be available in case of cities. So in those cities, wherever the surrounding building, in the surrounding surroundings of the building, if they have any open place, if they have any open place, or otherwise even on the road, if they construct the road by the concrete, अगर concrete से pavement किया गया है such kind of roads cannot see cannot uh, do not allow the uh, water to seep in right seeping matlab kya hai andar jana chai layer ke andar jana percolation kehta hai sir right so yahan seeping ka koi chances nahi kyunki it is made up of concrete and now let us see uh, due to construction of all these it is uh, not possible to seep of water into the ground so that uh, the population is more uh, the industries are more and the work is more uh, so that the constructions also more for that they use more and more water right so that easily the ground water will get dried up when they dig the bore well and uh, hand pump whatever it may be they are using the total water will be uh, uh, means get completed then there is a lack of uh, shortage of ground water so they are going to face many problems when the pumps are dried up when the ground water is dry up so that we have an alternative choice that open place rain water harvesting how to do this how to do this right so while constructing the roads concrete roads they are going to leave some gap or make hole in the roads they make hole in the roads right so here whenever the water is flowing whenever the water is flowing imagine rain fall occurred after rain fall the water flows after rain fall the water flows why water flowing why water flowing here from these holes from these holes the water comes down from these holes the water comes down right water comes down from this hole that we made now here we are going to construct we are going to construct a percolation pit percolation pit right now this percolation pit it contain fine gravel means pebbles and stones and as well as uh, the coal pieces are also added coal pieces and above the coal pieces we could add sand sand will be there so as a result of all these materials as a result of all these materials the rain water slowly seeps into this percolation pit it slowly seeps into percolation pit why we use these material because they have the capacity to filter and as well as percolate easily they can filter and percolate the rain water easily through them so that when they cross the percolation pit 
when they cross percolation field then they are going to reach the soil they are going to reach the soil so here it is the soil level ground level soil level or ground level now the water slowly it seeps in the percolates into the soil the percolates into soil so now as a result of this percolation as a result of this percolation or seeping of water seeping of water into the soil present in the ground it recharges the ground water level it recharges the ground water level so the uh, the ground water level increases and we could use this ground water for our uh, regular purposes by using bore wells or uh, tube wells or wells etc right so here this is uh, one method of harvesting rain water we should not let the water to get waste right what happens finally this water is going to mix with ocean where there is no use of that water so we are facing drought condition sometimes so that it is very important to protect the water resource and we have to recharge the ground water how can we recharge on this concrete we should make the holes through these holes the water enters in and it reaches to the percolation tank or percolation pit percolation pit now in this percolation pit we added sand sand coal and uh, gravel so the uh, the water passes through the sand coal and gravel and it reaches to the ground level or ground level soil and we call it as aquifer we call it as aquifer so at the aquifer the water level increases means ground water increases and we can take it out by digging bore wells or tube wells right so this is one of the water harvesting structure water harvesting structure so with this we completed the chapter water right we totally completed the chapter water okay i hope you understood how to conserve the water so water is very precious protect water and use water do not waste the water if you waste today then you will never you are not going to get water tomorrow so it is our responsibility to make awareness about the availability of water and we should make the awareness of percolation pits to increase the ground water level and so that will be happy i hope you understood today's lesson uh, we'll discuss about question answers in the further classes thank you